What's going on, y'all? This will be your boy, Scotty by Nature TV, and we're here for a brand new episode of Yes for the Mess, where we talk about celebrity gossip, hot topics, and all things reality TV based. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful Saturday, and I intend on doing the exact same. What's going on, y'all? Now, before we get into today's mess, let's talk about what we got coming up on the platform. Now, you guys know that on November the 6th, the Whether You Like It or Not panel restarts again, and it stars yours truly, giving you the real tea, Simply Sakina, Really BTV, and y'all critiques, and it also also features Josiah's World TV. Also, we will have special guests, um, Schoolboy and Busy Blue on the docket, as well as pop-up appearances from Reggie, all right? Make sure you tune in on Wednesday for the Chasing Panel, as myself, um, Jamar, Terrence, Tramiel, Carl, and Jeremy all come together to discuss the brand new episode of Chasing Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Don't forget that tonight is um, the live review of Love and Marriage Huntsville. Mm -hmm. And be sure to tune in tomorrow night for the Basketball Wives panel that stars myself, Jamie, that's me, Give Me the Real Tea, and Josiah's World TV. And that's um and that's whose platform the panel will be on. So make sure you guys um look on be on the lookout for all of those things. Okay. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the mess. Now this is some basketball wives mess, and it all started when Jackie Christie did an interview with Funky Dineva on the TGIF show. All right. She spoke on um her current relationship with Brooke. She also spoke on um. The fight that we never got the chance to see on season two and how she stated that she pretty much won that fight. And that didn't go over so well with Miss Brooke Bailey. And it started a whole firestorm of tweets with Brooke Bailey and Evelyn Lozada Drag and Jackie Christie. But we're going to start off with where all of this got started and then we're going to go to where it led to. Let's get into the things that Jackie said on TGIF with Funky Dineva. Let's take a listen. We're always used to seeing Crump, Jackie Christie, and Nessie, let's have a Ponderosa, Jackie Christie. <laughs> but in a recent episode, you were a bit more personable when you took accountable, uh, you know, accountability for not showing up for Brooke after her daughter's passing. Tell us about that moment, and when did you acknowledge your challenges with grief? You know what? I love what you just asked me, and the reason I love that is because I actually went public. I don't know if you saw that, but after the episode aired and I had to put um, and I never do this. This is the first one of the first times I've ever done this in all my years, 11 years straight on reality TV. I had to let the editors know I didn't appreciate that mm -hmm. because I didn't take accountability for anything because I already put it out publicly that as soon as we got the call from from Brandy, that Brooke's daughter had passed away, her beautiful daughter, Kayla, passed away. I didn't, she said, text Brooke. Everybody, she put it in a group chat to all of the cast. I was here in Sacramento and I, I didn't text her, I called her. When I called her, her little niece or cousin or whoever this young lady is answered the phone and was very sweet. She was like, Brooke told me to answer because the only person that calls with no caller ID is you. She wanted to let you know she appreciates you. She loves you. I said, tell her I love her. Anything she needs, I'm here. I don't care what it is. I, and that was that. And so we started talking text wise. So when it, when I got to the reunion, we went to dinner the night before with the production company and mm -hmm. she was fine. We were laughing, talking, everything was great. But then when the reunion came for it to all of a sudden be a you're this and you're that, it, it kind of caught me off guard. And one mm -hmm. thing I'm about is love and respect. And I'm not going to talk about someone that's needing to be resting with God in a derogatory way, but I was right. very taken aback. So mm -hmm. it was like, wait, where is this coming from? And I'm going to respect you and let you say whatever you're saying, because I felt it was a part of her grieving. But mm -hmm. please don't please don't misrepresent me. And mm -hmm. then it kept coming on the Internet. So I went public and I don't mm -hmm. do that. But I put all my receipts out to put a stop to it because they were contacting my kids. They mm -hmm. were saying mean things to my family. And I said, that's one thing I don't do. So I'm going to go ahead and put the truth out here so y'all mm -hmm. could see. And then everything went away. And then it was always oh, it got he was a lion. So then when it came time to shoot of season 11, I got asked 15 different times, begged pretty much, please, mm -hmm. we really need you to do this scene. I said, I don't want to talk about her beautiful daughter anymore. Please let that baby rest in peace. This is starting to get really mm -hmm. weird. Right. I don't want to do that. No. And I got really aggressive about it. I had meetings with different people and said, do not ask me to talk to her again. I've already settled it. Mm -hmm. Well, one scene came up shopping. I was tricked into coming to the scene, I got in the scene, and then it was this, what you saw on that unfolding. Right. And it wasn't said like that. I again reiterated, look, I already went public and put all that out there. 
I apologize for having to do that, but I want you to know I do love you. I want to, whatever you need, I'm here to do it. So I hope it pans out in the future episodes of the show, but if it doesn't, at least I'm going to be able to speak my truth. I'm never going to lie, Funky Geneva. I don't do that. I get so, it, and we believe you. Exactly. We, we we know that from the old Jackie Christie. So let's put a pin in that and create a little bit of separation real quick. And I got to be Bessie and ask this question now. Here it is. You, when you and Brooke got the tussler, they turned their camera off. Who won that fight, Jackie? <laughs> I would say go ask Bambi, Malaysia, and everybody else, Drea, that was there. But I uh-huh. love Brooke. I do. I'm going to be honest. All, all jokes aside, I told Brooke after that fight, I told production, first of all, because they wasn't going to have us shoot together. They came to me, warned me, and said, Jackie, they said, if you fight again, you got to go. I said, well, then I better go. Because if somebody step in my space, I'm going to do exactly the same thing as I did to her 15 more times. Uh And so, to be honest with you, I told Brooke, I said, I will never put it out there what happened as long as you respect me. But if you go out there and say something and start lying, I'm going to have to tell the truth. So I said it a few times. We got into a fight. She walked in my space. I turned around, I, I went off, and uh-huh. that was that. They pulled me off of her, and that was the end of the fight. I don't I don't condone violence. I love Brooke as a sister. I want us to always be friends, but at the end of the day, enough is enough. I'm not gonna yeah. I'm not gonna play that game. But I know I did not lose the fight. So everybody <laughs> shut up now. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, y'all heard it first here on TGIF on Fox All. Jackie Christie say she don't lose no fight. Jackie said, I don't get no ass whoopers. No, I and hand them out. <laughs> <laughs> but Jackie, really quickly, I love her. I really do. quickly, you know, while we're on the subject of shaking up the cash, you had a little back and forth with Evelyn, which is always scary for us because you oh. don't back down. Evelyn don't back down, and this came after you tweeted that you want Malaysia back on the show. Why do you think Evelyn was so pressed after your post? Okay, that's what I'm saying. Like, what are Okay, let me tell you. I, I just make it. I'll make a long story short. I was in Atlanta doing a play. I get a phone call from one of my friends going, "What's this?" And it's a it's a thing from one of the blogs showing me what she said. I'm gonna be honest. My heart dropped because I see a le- I see Evelyn Lozada, and then I see some craziness in there, and I'm like, "Wait, hold on." So automatically, I go outside to see what it is, and when I realize that, I call my friend back, and I'm like, "What's going on?" She, and she told me she got mad because you made that tweet about Malaysia. I immediately called Evelyn. She didn't answer the phone. So I'm thinking, okay, well, this got to be a joke. So as you've seen it all transpired, I asked her, is this a sick joke? What is it? I think she got angry because she felt intimidated and thought that I was saying that this season, because they panned it out to like be the Evelyn Lozada's coming back. This is the season and all of that. And that's fine. I don't have no problem supporting her in that. Come join us. Come back, make a big splash, whatever. I can have feelings how I want to feel about my sister. Mm-hmm. Malaysia and I did basketball wives together from season one to season 10. She mm-hmm. was here. Season 10, we did 26 episodes. She did most of those. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. my sister from another mother going to be my sister, regardless of what anybody says. On top of that, she's a Leo. I'm a Leo. Mm-hmm. I love Malaysia. I have had times when I was like, get out of my face. I don't ever want to see you again. And she's had it with me. But I have not advocated for her not to be here Mm -hmm. if if her mental health ain't gonna let her be here then don't be here Mm -hmm. i said me and her shot a lot of things before she left and they didn't end up using it all so i said i don't want to waste time if my baby ain't ready to be here then i'd rather her sit out okay it It makes sense there you go it it makes makes perfect sense we're always used to seeing crunk jack All right, so that was the interview that got the tongues wagging with Jackie Christie and Funky Dineva. Now, after that interview came out, it start it came out that Brooke was not too happy with what was said in this interview. So let's get into the tweets that was posted. All right. So this is what Brooke Bailey had to say, y'all. So Brooke Bailey came in and said, Your interview is not the truth about what transpired between us. Jackie Christie, don't do another interview discussing my daughter. You weren't tricked. You definitely did not be my on season two please stop the cap didn't nobody pull you off me and once again jackie christie you were the furthest thing from my mind when my daughter passed i didn't give nobody a message to give you when you supposedly call you're out of pocket and you will see me again this don't have nothing to do with the show you need media training you discuss what you have going on which is nothing that's why the viewers only see you two to six minutes in each episode this season okay 
Then she states, this is the only way for you to get attention. We were good at Jackie Christie. You corny AF for this. I won't repeat myself again. Don't bring my daughter up again. Talk about your kids. Hashtag numb mother factor. Why you didn't talk about all this you was on my phone saying about Evelyn and Shawnee? Tell them how you said that you was going to slap the out of Evelyn and Shawnee is hiding from you. That's your storyline, bitch. Don't tell me to be the bigger person. I was when I gave this fake bitch grace after the nasty thing she said at the reunion. So let's go down the foul bitch road. Since you don't have no storyline this season, here's your views. Jackie, you are mad that Shawnee and Evelyn are on the billboards with Orlando. You're mad that they did the special. You're just a mad tacky bitch. Yes, Jack, um, someone, so Evelyn came in and said, slap me for what? She must have been on that brown that is making her round because there is no way. What the fuck I do now? Yes, Jackie Christie said on the phone with British that she would slap the fuck out of you and Shawnee is hiding from her and she needs to go do a show called Preacher's Wife. I was on the call and I heard it all. Y'all need to go back to Miami, then do these interviews being fake AF, okay? And then Shawnee said, now wait a minute. Jackie wants to slap me? And then Brooke says, she wants to slap Evelyn and you're hiding from her. You need to go do a show called Preacher's Wives. Y'all need to go back to Miami. Her words, okay? Now before we get into anything else, okay, let's talk about it. Now, I get Brooke being upset as far as, you know, Jackie discussing her daughter. I definitely understand that. You know, that is a soft spot for them. You know, we already know that they, um, we know that they was, was, um, pretty much, they fell out due to the fact that she felt like Jackie wasn't there for her. You know what I'm saying? So that is the reason why they fell out. So it would not be in her best interest to bring up anything in regards to her child. Now, I understand her trying to clear her name with the scene or whatever, but when it came down to that, to the whole kid thing, I just feel like at the end of it all, she she probably shouldn't have done that. And that's what set Brooke off. But the thing about Brooke is, I think that she fake as in my opinion, because the same way she calling Jackie fake, okay, she's fake too, because if Jackie said all this stuff on the phone about Evelyn and Shawnee, why are you just now waiting until you're getting mad with Jackie to bring that shit up? You just as fake as you saying Jackie is. See, I don't like motherfuckers like Brooke. I, well, I don't like Brooke anyway, let's be clear, but I don't like motherfuckers like Brooke because they want to wait until they get mad at a motherfucker to try to, try to throw salt or you know, uh, say little things about them and stuff like that. Like now you want to tell the people what was said about them now that you mad, but if you was never mad, you never would have said nothing. Brooke, go somewhere and sit your motherfucking ass down. And I'm not saying that Jackie didn't say the shit, but I'm saying Brooke trying to expose Jackie for being fake and you exposing your damn self for being fake because you didn't say nothing. You kept that shit to yourself until she made you mad. And now that it's mad that you want to put it on blast. Girl, get the fuck out of here. Anyway, Brooke says, I'm putting together on Ponderosa with everyone you talk about behind their backs. Let's start with British being too ghetto for the show. Your words, hating on Brandy, Maxil, Evelyn, Lazada, Shawnee, and Malaysia, the list goes on and on. We all talk. Stop the cap. But if she was sick, why you want to put together Ponderosa now that you are mad? See, that's what I'm talking about. Jackie ain't perfect. We all know that she be talking. We all know this already. But my thing about it is, why are you waiting? You mad now, so now you want to say something. Brooke, you fake. Like, you ain't doing the people no favor by exposing Jackie because in the same breath, you exposing your damn self for being just as fake as you say Jackie is. So let's not. Okay? Uh, Brooke said, keep talking about the scenes you were in that were deleted. They were not interested. Jackie Christie is boring. So now here's the attention that you wanted. Just at work, sloppy, drunk, falling asleep in the scene. That's why you don't have no camera time. Be mad at yourself. Bitch, do a whole interview about everything but her truth. Okay? Let's see what else we got here. So then, here's Evelyn responding. Evelyn says, shakes my head. I knew, I always knew that the love was fake. Calling me last season to help the ratings. And when I do, there's an issue. No matter what side of the fence we're on, we're all on the same team. This is not competition. Grow the F up. And then that's when Brooke responded with this. Let her tell it. You're not helping the numbers. Evelyn responded with men lie, women lie, numbers don't. But then 
at Jackie Christie wants to repost the deadline article to celebrate. I'm not the enemy, sis. Just here to help what your ass couldn't do on season 10. So then um, that's when um, Evelyn says she needs to be thanking I am Shawnee for all the checks that she received in the last decade because we all know those businesses are fugazi. Brooke responded with big facts. Oh, at Brandy Maxill heard the calls too. She can vouch with the truth. Brooke, why are you involving folks that ain't got a damn thing to do with this situation? Why are you involving Brandy? Brandy ain't said a damn word and you sitting up here involving her. British ain't said a damn word. She finna go to the slammer and you involving her and your bullshit. Now, why are you involving them two in your shit? I don't understand it. You already brought up Evelyn and you already brought up Shawnee. You could have left everybody out of it, but yet, but you know, you extra as a mother. So you got to sit up here and bring everybody and a mama into this situation and they got nothing to do with them. But let's continue. So Brooke says, since you don't have a storyline this season, here's your views. You Okay, we already read that part. Evelyn responded with insecure AF. Jackie, let it be the last time you mentioned Brooke Bailey's daughter in a fucking interview. Goofy ass. You lied the entire time to Claudia Jordan. Hashtag too old for this. Y'all love to use that same too old mess against Jackie as if you hoes ain't too old. Come on now. And who are you threatening, um, Evelyn? Let it be the last time you mentioned Brooke Bailey's daughter. Girl, shut up. You ain't finna do shit. Shut up. So then someone said, Jackie basically said in this interview that Malaysia is her real sister and Evelyn can't be trusted. Girl, you are all up Evelyn and Jennifer since when they moved to L.A. when the shows merged. And at the time, you and Malaysia weren't even speaking. So why throw Evelyn who, let me say a show more. Hmm. Evelyn said, it's because she's jealous of me, period. I'm not sugarcoating ish anymore. I tried to be a team player and I'm done being fake. She hates that I'm here and everyone knows it. Sisterhood, my ass. My thing with Evelyn is, why you always think somebody jealous of you, though? Were you jealous of Royce? Is that, is that why y'all tried to block her from being on the show? Were you jealous of Malaysia and Brandy and that's why you tried to keep them off the show? Because remember, your whole thing was the only way you would return to the show is if they wasn't there. So I'm just trying to understand and figure it all out. Okay, Evelyn. So I know that there's more to this, okay? So where is it at? Let's, I think, okay, there it goes, there it goes. So then Jackie Christie posted this. And um, it was British, and it said, Jackie, you going to the awards? And then there's, the, you know, the post with, you know, Basketball Wives LA in Orlando. And then Brit British says, this is insulting. How you not on this photo? They really be trying. Tell them to take their ass back to Miami, okay? That's what British said. So Jackie responded with, happy Saturday, y'all. Here we go yet again. Sheesh, sheesh, the hate is real. I was minding my business in Atlanta doing the stage play when my phone started blowing up and this was the message, so stop the noise. If the people want my job, just say so, LOL, but please leave me alone. And I think that Jackie got every right to feel some type of way that she wasn't on this damn flyer because Jackie is Basketball Wives LA. Shawnee is not no damn Basketball Wives LA. I don't give a who, what production she's over. She's not Basketball Wives LA and neither is fucking Evelyn and neither is Jennifer. Jackie, if anybody should be there, Jackie should be there. And I don't know why the Shawnee is even on here. She's not even on a, on a show like that. So why is she even in the, in the posters in the first place? Just hogging up the motherfucking spotlight all the goddamn time. I'm sick of Shawnee. I am. Like, I'm tired of her. So after all that, Brooke Bailey posted um, a text message that British had sent to Jackie, okay? Brooke Bailey said, the text British sent you was an actual joke because she knew you were mad that you weren't on the billboards. Why didn't you post this text that she sent you? Your file in the day you talk about everyone on October 11th is the same day everyone knew what you said. So there's the Jackie thing right there. Um, and that's where British sent Jackie this text message saying, I would appreciate you if you would keep me out of any basketball wives bullshit. You were one of the reasons why I lost my job. Calling Evelyn and Shawnee, telling them that I was too ghetto for the show and my storyline was a bad look for the brand. But acting like you care and saying that you love my daughter but took money out her mouth and didn't give up if I could pay my bills or anything. Jackie, you are a snake, always been a snake. 
always will be a snake. Leave me the f alone. Stop using me for clickbait. I had Brooke and Brandy on the phone the entire time, so stop lying because I know the games you play. Leave me the f out of it. I have enough going on. First of all, first of all, your friend Brooke brought you into this, dummy. <laughs> Jackie never brought you into shit. Brent Brooke is the one that brought you into this. So you need to take that up with her. Don't take that up with Jackie. Take that up with damn Brooke, okay? And why, why are y'all sitting on a three-way um, listening in on conversations and stuff like that? Like, what was y'all playing? What was y'all plot? And why, the, you know, and, and British, you going to jail anyway. So what job was you going to have? You finna go to jail for four years, sweetie pie. What's going on? And it's so funny how Brooke is so lame to me. Like, Brooke is so lame being, you know, Evelyn and Shunny's guard dog, attack dog, all kinds of dogs for them. Like, she just look lame. And I don't like that. I don't like her. I just don't respect nobody that do the shit that she do at this point. And she just need to grow the fuck up, in my opinion. I just don't like uh Brooke. Like, girl, go somewhere and sit down. You just lost your daughter. Why don't you find something else to do? Seriously, find something else to do, do that, and move the fuck on. But girl, whatever. I mean, it is what it is, y'all. So with that being stated, that's pretty much all that I got on this. But before we go, let's get into Tramiel. Now, you know, our very own Tramiel from the Chasing Panel. He's also done appearances on Boys Night Out last season. And he is my good friend, big brother. Make sure you guys get into Long Days. It's available everywhere. So make sure you guys stream and buy it. Also, Bando. He has a brand new record by the name of Brando's Dream. It's available on Spotify, Apple music and youtube make sure you guys get that with that being said child this be your boy scotty by nature tv shout out to the scotty gang all the people that may be new to the platform and all the hate watchers that i know are out there thank you guys for tuning in and i'll holler at you guys on the next one bye bye y'all